All right, I've got something interesting to uh, share with everyone this morning. Um, NeoVim, right? One of the things that I have frequently done in the past, even when using um, something like regular Vim, Wow, when it undid that shit, it like didn't fucking undo my window size. Instead, it undid my mic monitor. Fuck it. Okay. Here we go. I discovered something interesting in uh, NeoVim recently. Um, one of the things that I frequently do in... Uh, Vim in general, NeoVim or otherwise, is I like to run commands inside of the editor. This is a good way to not have to close the editor or switch into another shell or anything if you need to run some quick command or something, right? So I frequently do this using a colon exclamation point, but apparently one of the problems that is facing uh, NeoVim is that they don't have any plans on colorizing this output. So if I got any like errors or whatever while building my game, we get no colorized uh, text output here, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So I, w I began looking around and I like was like, I wanna get it colorized output when I'm compiling my commands and shit. So how do we do that? Well, as it turns out, ZS, or not ZSH, fucking uh, NeoVim has this thing called term, short for terminal. And what this does, I'll make it bigger for you. That's what she said, oh we. Um, so terminal short for term, right? Or term short for terminal. And so we can actually run commands in here, right? We could do like make. Now what this does is it opens up another uh, context, right? So like in my buffers, we now have this thing here. And I don't really have a good way to close this yet or how to like manage what buffers I have open. I, I suppose I could do like BC or buff close or do I have to do like buffer close? Um, whatever, anyway. So we get colored output here now, right? So that's kind of cool. But um, something even more cool is the following. So let's leave that, go back in. Um, so instead of doing term and then the command, how about we do term and then ZSH, right? So this actually loads up a brand new terminal inside of NeoVim. So I could actually interact with this just like it's a regular terminal and get all of the expected output as as we would in a regular terminal. So let's uh let's make now that's pretty cool. Now the thing that I had to figure out that I, I wanted to share on top of this was uh this is cool and everything, but it's not very clear immediately how to escape this mode or how to switch back to another buffer, right? So I was reading online and I found a, a, a command sequence. It's control backslash control N. And this gets us back into command mode. So from here, now I can do double tap and get back to whatever files I've got. And if I wanted to close this, I can just control D from within the terminal hit enter and it's out of my buffers so this creates a very nice workflow for actually getting shit done in a very rapid fire manner so just as an example of this 
Let's go ahead and build my game. And there you have it. We can even run the game from within this context. Very nice. Very nice. So I just type exit, uh, and we're good. So, very cool shit. Another reason why you should use uh, NeoVim. Shoutouts to uh, the Primogen and TJV for being uh, prolific pushers of programming. The PPP. But really, uh, shoutouts to them for pushing NeoVim because uh, how the fuck did I have I been using NeoVim for like three years now and I'm just now learning about the term command. What the actual fuck? <laughs>